Hello grade one students, today we are going to take a new grammar lesson about the usage of the two verbs go and do. We have to know that the verb go is in present tense and the past tense of the verb go is went. The verb do is in present and the past tense of it is did. Let's do, let's say it again. Go is in present. Went is in past. Do is in present. And its past tense is did. Great. Now the words go and do, they are action verbs, just like what did we say in the first slide. We use go and do to tell what is happening now. In the meantime, right now, what we are going, uh, what we are doing. For example, uh, we say I will do my homework now. I will go to the kitchen now. I will go to the school now. In the meantime, means now, in the meantime, I will do my homework. Or, for example, I will do uh, this quiz. Got it? So we use the verbs go and do to tell about something or what is happening now. We use the past tense of the two verbs go and do, which are went and did, to tell what has already happened means it happened and it's done for example we can say i did my homework yesterday last last year i did an amazing work in learning english mm, we can also say um Last week, I went to the park. Last night, I went to the library. Library is a big place where we can find a lot of, a lot of books to read or to buy. You know what is the library. I'm just uh, reminding you about it. Let's read the examples that we have over here. <clears throat> First, in present, we say, today I go see Graham. In past, we say, he went to a play last week. I want to tell you one more hint. <clears throat> the word today here tells us something that that happens in the present because today it's now today and the word the key word last week it informs us about something happened and it's done last week it passed already it passed <clears throat> let's see um, more examples let's read this example we do our work now. Did you see? I know that this sentence, this sentence is in present and that I have to, to put the verb do, not did, because I have the word now. And the word now tells us something that is happening in present, now, and at this time, in the meantime. In the past, we say, they did have fun last night. 
So the word last night informed me that this happened in the past. So that's why when I say did, when I have last night, it will be correct. Let's practice a little bit of examples so together so uh, you will understand it more, okay? Fine. <clears throat> Here we have to write the verb that tells about present. We have to write, the question says, write the verb that tells about the present. Number one. Animals, we have means we have to, to put do or go. We have present, so we directly need to think about do and go only. We have animals, something blank, a lot of work to find food. Animals, a lot of work to find food. Do we say do a lot of work to find food or go a lot of work to find food? What do we do with work? Amazing, do. So animals do a lot of work to find food. Amazing, let's go to number two. Some animals away when it is cold. What do animals do when it's cold, when the weather is cold? <clears throat> do we say some animals do away when it's cold? Or we say some animals go away when it's cold? Perfect. We say go. I can hear you answering. We say go. Amazing. Let's go to part B. Question B says, write the verb that tells about the past. Because of the word past, we will directly start thinking about did and went. Not do and go. The do will be did in the past and go will be went in the past. Let's start. So here we have to think only about did and went. Great. Let's read. The ducks to a less cold place. What do we say? Went or did? <coughs> Perfect. We say went. Amazing. Number five, they not like the lake of ice. What do we say? They did not like the lake of ice or they went not the lake of ice. <coughs> Perfect. Clap your hands for yourselves. We say did. They did not, la uh, they did not like the lake of ice. Perfect. Amazing. Let's practice more together. This question says that you have to circle each mistake. Means now you are going to be the teachers. There's a student who, who wrote these four sentences. You are going to be the teachers now. Here you have to circle each mistake. Then you have to write each corrected word below. Fine. And that means in the empty spaces that you have. Number one says, last week, my class go to see a play about animals. I read it again. Last week, last week means something past, it happened already. Last week, my class go to see a play about animals. Now we have to find out the mistake. The mistake over here is go. It's the use of go. We have here the keyword last week. Last week means something happened in the past. So the mistake over here is using go. Instead, we have to use went because we have the keyword last week means something happened in the past. So we say last week, we say last week, my class went to see a play, a play about animals. Great. Now number two. 
the kids in the play did a nice job. The kids in the play did a nice job. Is there anything called dude? Do it? I don't know. That's not correct. So the mistake over here is dude. What do we have? Do we say is the the the, uh, the past tense of the verb do dude? Do we add an ed to the verb do to be in the past? That's wrong. We say instead we say did. The kids, the kids in the play did a nice job. Perfect. Let's go to number three. We will, will means something is going to happen in future. This is in future tense. We will did a fun thing each week. That's a bit tricky, right? Okay. Here we have will. Will means something is going to happen. So the mistake here is using the verb did. We can't say we will did. This is something incorrect. Instead, we have to say we will do a fun thing each week. And each week means uh, in the present tense. Now, number four, we have today we, we will went on a class trip. Today means in present. Today we will went, went, it's a verb that happened in the past. Today we will went on a class trip. We have um, the word today over here and the wrong ones is the usage of the verb went. Instead, we have to say today we will go on a class trip. Perfect. Try to, um, to practice these examples more, okay? This is the end of our um, session. This is the end of our video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us and stay safe. Bye.